Okay. Good. Okay. Well, it all started when Tip Tip saw this table. They fell in love and they had children, and I was one of those children. But Tip Tip lost me. So some very kind otters adopted me. But the otters, they were adopted by beavers. So I lived in a beaver dam for like the first seven years of my life. And so uh, one day my otter parents took me to the zoo. And I got lost and wandered into the petting zoo where I was welcomed as one of the goats. So I learned for the next couple of years I was living in the zoo and no humans found out about me for two years. That makes me sad, but the, I, learned, I learned how to properly feed out of humans' hands and how to speak goat or they haven't named their language so it's just goat. And Show us some goat. Finally, my other parents were contacted by the zoo when they finally found out about me, so I went back to the dam, and a couple years later, I decided to enroll in this foreign exchange student thingy, where I got sent to Iceland. I thought it was Alaska. Well, Alaska isn't foreign. Oh, good yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was sent to Iceland, and the dude came back here, his name was like Fjord. Like the, uh, the ditch. Yeah, the ditch. Yeah, sure, why not? So anyway... Fjord's parents were strange. They were they were both they, they were both they were they were they were one was a guy who turned into a lady and the other was a lady who turned into a guy. Yeah. So it was just kinda strange. Anyway, one day they took me out penguin hunting and I had my spear all sharpened and I got lost in the walrus mountains. So there I was ambushed by a saber-toothed tiger. So I was, I was, I thought I was about to die. So I was crying, and I was screaming, and that caught the attention of the wal, the walry nearby. That rhymed. I don't like that. Um, so they jumped on to the tiger and flattened them like a pancake, and there was blood and guts and bile and organs everywhere. And I was like, okay, you guys are cool. So I decided to do some chores for them because they're so fat they can't do it themselves. So after I did the, their stuff, they gave me a pendant. It allows me to speak Walren, which is the language of the walruses, the walry. I wear it on me at all times, just in case a situation comes up where I need to speak walry, Walren. Walren at all? Yeah. But what do you want me to say? Hi. <laughs> uh, so, Say F you. What? Say F you. <laughs> so, I went back to Fjord's parents, and I got sent back to America, and Fjord got sent back to Poland, wherever the hell he's from. So, we're back, I'm in America now, trying to find my other parents, because they didn't pick me up at the airport. They are very inconsiderate. So, there's my tip tip, my long lost father had put in an ad in the paper looking for me, and it had a description, but somehow it was very oddly accurate for the description of my baby self. It, like, it described me perfect 20 years later. <laughs> Minus the uh, language barriers that have formed. That's so funny. Anyway. I don't, I don't, I don't understand your question. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so the elderly couple was reading the news, and Tip Tip could only afford a really, really tiny ad because he had just gone through a really bad divorce, and he had took a, took enough heavy drinking. So he put it in the ad. He was like, "Okay, it's been ten years. I guess it's actually time to look for him." So he put the ad in the paper, and the elderly couple were like, "Wait a minute! I see this weird-looking dude walking down the street. He looks like the child in the picture." So they contacted Tip Tip. And I went back to him, and it turns out that my otter parents were brutally murdered when the area of the dam was constructionized. So I had to go to the funeral, and at that funeral, I spoke some words in goat, 
and in Walren and 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 in, in Italian. When did you learn Italian? I don't know. Okay. And so I lived happily ever after. Can, can I hear some of the goat language? The goat. The, what, do, what, what, what do you want me to say? Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Nick, that's a fabulous story. This has been story time with Nick. Bye bye.